Ever wonder how the safest electric vehicles stack up when real crash testing gets serious? Today we're breaking down the latest IIHS crash test ratings for seven of the most popular EVs on the road, and the results might surprise you. Some EVs delivered outstanding protection, while others showed worrying weaknesses for rear seat passengers. So buckle up because we're diving into the real crash test data you need to know before you buy. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. BMW i4 Starting off strong, the BMW i4 earned a good rating in the crucial moderate overlap front crash test, one of the toughest evaluations focused now on protecting backseat passengers. The i4 delivered excellent protection for both driver and rear passengers overall. That's a big win for a luxury EV sedan. Chevrolet Blazer EV Next up is the Chevrolet Blazer EV, another EV that scored good in this updated crash test. Like the i4, the Blazer EV shows solid structural performance and respectable protection all around. This is great news if you're considering a family-friendly electric SUV with strong crash safety performance. Tesla Cybertruck The Tesla Cybertruck also earned a good rating, but here's the caveat, only for models built after April 2025. Tesla updated the front underbody design that helped boost performance in the test. Keep that model year in mind if you're shopping used. Volkswagen ID Buzz. The retro style VW ID Buzz didn't just turn heads, it also turned in a good crash test result. This EV minivan performed well in the same overlap test, showing that safety can come with a spacious design. Tesla Model 3. The Tesla Model 3 earned an acceptable rating, not bad but not top tier either. While driver protection was solid, IIHS noted that measurements from the rear crash dummy showed somewhat elevated risk of chest injury due to belt forces. So it still passes, but with room for improvement. Nissan Aria. Things get a bit rougher with the Nissan Aria electric SUV, which pulled a marginal rating. The rear seat crash metrics showed higher risk of injury, especially to chest areas, even though the driver area was reasonably protected. If rear passenger safety is a priority, this is something to think about. Ford F-150 Lightning. Finally, the Ford F-150 Lightning scored poor in the test, not just because of rear chest risk, but also due to potential head and neck injuries in this particular crash scenario. This doesn't mean the Lightning is unsafe overall, but it does highlight significant room for improvement in protecting backseat riders in this test setup. Safety isn't just about technology, it's about real-world protection when a crash actually happens. And the latest IIHS results show a mixed field in the EV world. If you found this breakdown useful, smash that like button, subscribe for more EV safety content, and drop a comment below. Which EV should we test next?